Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Hunt. Today, we got some rec gameplay with absolutely no cuts at all. Now, this isn't the best gameplay. It's just me chilling, listening to music, vibing. I wasn't even playing with a full team, so I wasn't even really caring about sweating. But it is some full gameplay for you guys, so you guys can actually have some full gameplay. Make sure you do drop a like, sub, turn on post notifications. It's all very much appreciated. Today's video is going to be kind of just a little yap fest. You know, we're going to talk about some problems that I feel like there is with the game, some plans on the channel, and just stuff like that while you guys watch this gameplay. Because I know you guys have wanted some full non-cut gameplay for a minute here. So today, you know, we just got some red gameplay. I dropped like 36 points, 37 points. I had almost 10 steals. It wasn't the best game, but it was worthy enough to put into a video. Now, with that being said, let's go ahead and start off on the things that need to be fixed with this game. They're working on the contest, and I'm going to give them props for that. You know, I'm not going to complain about the contest. I'm not going to complain about the shooting. I'm not going to complain about any of that stuff because they're clearly trying to work on it. They buffed shooting, which I didn't feel like they needed to do. They also have been buffing contests like crazy. Every day they've been dropping a patch for contest until people say it's right. So... They've been working on those two things, and, you know, I give them props for that. But there is some other really big issues that we need to talk about. One, Wreck with Randoms is almost unplayable. You go into a Wreck with Randoms game, and when the game ends, it will not let you back out. Now, I don't know if this is fixed at the time this video will be uploaded, because I'm recording this on, what day is it? I'm recording this on Wednesday, and as of Wednesday, this is still a problem where if you win a game with a team in Rec, and you're playing Rec with randoms, it doesn't let you back out right after, so you have to stay with that team, and a lot of the times, you know, you're going to get stuck into the game with the team you don't like, you know, if you close app, it's going to give you the 30-minute ban, it's just ridiculous, and it makes Rec almost unplayable unless you're going in there with the squad, which right now you guys are seeing me in there with literally one other person. I just went in there with two people because I'd rather play with two people and maybe get all AIs or whatever than to play with a set of bots and have to be stuck in games with them or I'm going to get banned. So Rec needs a huge fix, man. I don't know. That's one thing that got messed up with the patch. Another thing we're going to talk about, rhythm shooting. They took whatever the huge green window was. That is non-existent no more. Because I promise you, like, as somebody who was using rhythm shooting pre-patch and is still using it after patch, you guys are seeing me use rhythm shooting and maybe square in a couple of shots here. But um, the huge green window that was there is gone. I It felt so effortlessly... I don't even know if I said that right. It felt so effortless to just green with rhythm shooting before the patch. And now after the patch, it's really more so about the timing, looking at the cues. You actually have to be on point with it or it's not going to be green. Pre-patch, I felt like they were just giving me a lot of greens. Like there was times I felt like I lagged. It wouldn't even register as a rhythm shot and it would still be a green. There was... It was just so effortless to green before patch that I definitely noticed they removed whatever huge green window was there for rhythm shooting. So rhythm shooting got nerfed in the patch. Square shooting got buffed. With that being said, I mean, I don't really know. I'm still kind of an in-betweener at the current moment. You guys are seeing... I mean, in Rec, I don't always shoot great. I'm going to just straight up admit it. Rec is Rec. I mean, I play Rec and don't even really care. You know, as long as I'm winning, I don't care about the percentages I'm shooting. But I noticed for sure that, you know, it's definitely been nerfed. And for the last couple of days, I've been, you know, working on getting my shot back together because I have been a little inconsistent the last couple of days with shooting because of the nerf. So, you know, I still haven't figured out what I'm going to do as far as if I'm going to stick with rhythm shooting or if I'm going to go back to square. They're dropping so many patches and changing things day by day that it makes it kind of hard to know what I'm going to do as far as stuff like that. Because I could switch back to square today. Next week, there's a rhythm shooting buff. Like, you honestly never know what's going to happen with this game. But that's another thing. The patch definitely affected rhythm shooting and they definitely nerfed it. Not in a good way because that huge green window is absolutely gone. Another thing that 
has been affected well hasn't been affected by the patch but something that's been a problem for a hot minute in the game is proving grounds proving grounds is supposed to be a comp mode they added that for it to be a ranked mode now there's a lot of arguments i can make about this you know why add a ranked mode into the game if you're going to have skill based matchmaking in the casual modes if skill based matchmaking is going to be in the park if it's going to be in the theater and in all the events then there's really no reason to have a ranked mode because people are pretty much playing comp anywhere they go so that's the first thing i'm gonna say is that they kind of fumbled with the ranked mode because one there's ranked mode there's pro am there's rec there's park there's starter five there's all these different modes and all these different types of things that the the player base is so scattered and honestly like I don't know man proving grounds you know i'm not even here to complain about the skill based matchmaking another problem with the proving grounds is i can understand dropping a mode specifically for comp and for ranked play it's a great idea on 2k's part yeah they fumbled with the skill based matchmaking but another thing they're fumbling with is the fact that that ranked mode literally the top leaderboards are 40 win percents and 50 win percents because there's a glitch to stay on top of the leaderboard people just dashboard and they don't lose any of their ranked progress so pretty much ranked mode is absolutely useless the people who are at the top are not really top players most of them are just bots people cheat their way to the top in there people dashboard so their losses don't count on their ranked People just play Proving Grounds because it doesn't count on their actual park record. They go in there with their IRLs. They go in there, don't care if they lose because the record doesn't matter. And the people who do care about the record in there, there's people who are cheating that have worse. You know what I'm saying? The people who are sweating their lives off for 91% in the Proving Grounds are still not even you know they're struggling to beat people on the leaderboards with a 41 percent so proving grounds really doesn't matter at all it's turned into the place to hoop as a casual you know you go in there don't care if you win or lose you just play and if you want to keep your rank you just dashboard and keep your rank it doesn't affect your park record that's where i know a lot of my friends bring their irls so proving grounds i feel like it completely backfired in the sense where they wanted to make it a comp mode where all the comp people play and now it's not really that it's kind of the opposite it's just a place where casuals go it's a place where cheaters go post scores it's honestly just a mess in there so proving grounds is messed up i mean there there's a whole bunch of stuff that is messed up as far as the patch i mean the things that people regularly complain about like shooting and stuff like that i don't even complain about i complain about the things that makes the game actually difficult to play when you can't play rec games without closing gap every single time like think of it if you're a streamer you can't go into rec with randoms because if you go in they're gonna lock you in after every game you're not gonna be able to leave after going in there right now so you're gonna stream you close up your stream ends unless you got an elgato that rec is just unplayable it's it's tough a lot of these modes are they're really unplayable man like there's a lot of problems with this game and it's not even just the you know the gameplay part of it because the gameplay is you know they're working on it and trying to make it better that's i give them the props on the gameplay part of it the other stuff though the stuff that is broken in the game like proving grounds the wreck they're taking their sweet time to fix this stuff i mean i don't know if wreck will be fixed at the time that i post this video but it's already been broken for a week straight bro like wreck has been like this for a week straight where you cannot play without you just can't back out so the game's got some serious problems that need to be fixed i mean i'm not gonna sit here and rant the whole time because i honestly like the game it's not too bad i'm gonna keep playing it and i'm gonna keep grinding it but there is things that need to be fixed that they don't really care to pay any attention to um the the steals like the lanes bro like i 2k they say they won't do something like they said they would not touch the shooting they said to adapt and that they wanted people shooting real life numbers and then they folded and they buffed it 
they they do this type of stuff where they cannot keep they can't keep a straight idea they don't know if they want shooting to be easy or hard for us they don't know what they want us to be doing and it I don't know, bro. Like, I I can understand, you know, listening to the community, but appealing and, you know, trying to appeal to community. But at the same time, you got to stand on your word and you just got to let some shit go. Like, there's certain things where this game needs constant patches, bro. Like, Wreck is broken. This is broken. That's broken. I mean, Season 1 had all types of problems. We're not going to talk about the pro. Season 1, they let us play the first season, a whole entire month of the game, and then they're going to drop a patch with 20 patch notes. 20 patch notes. The biggest patch in 2K history in the game is still not fixed and still needs more patches. That just shows you how messed up of a game we've been playing. We played a game that had needed 20 pages of patch notes for a whole month. All types of stability changes, gameplay changes, lane, shooting, all types of stuff, bro. So, I don't know. That's one thing about this game that's really unfortunate is it seems like it needs constant patches. Like, Wreck needs to be fixed. Proving Grounds needs to be fixed. But it's like then they drop that patch and then four other things get messed up that we didn't even... That had nothing at all to do with the patch. Like, Wreck had nothing at all to do with the last patch. There was nothing changed in Wreck at all. You know, there might have been shot contest changes. And little changes like that. Like, the same thing that happened to Park, Stage, and everywhere. But there's no reason why Wreck... Like, how does that even happen? Every time they drop a patch, something else gets messed up. You know... They drop a patch. Okay, like, look, for example, right? The minute that the Season 2 patch dropped, the two times rep event didn't work for the full day that it was supposed to come out. It did not work, so they had to reschedule that. The records reset. They said the records were not going to reset, and they said they are working on fixing the records at this moment. It has been like five days. The records still aren't fixed. The record is still not fixed. You guys get what I'm saying here? There, a patch drops and then 15 other things get messed up. And that's the one thing that is kind of is disappointing about this game. Because it's like, in my head, I know if they fix like two or three things, this could be a perfect game. But it's like if they fix two or three things and that messes up two or three other things, then we're just going to keep on playing a game that needs patches and patches and patches and patches. So, I don't know, man. The state of 2K is very delicate right now, in my opinion. I mean, Patch 2 sent a lot of people away, but it brought a lot of people back. A lot of people are waiting on that patch and said that patch fixed the game. But at the same time, there's a lot of things that it messed up. 2K is worried about fixing a compression shirt under a jersey glitch. But they're not sitting here worried about the fact that you can't back out of a rec game and you got to be sitting there stuck playing with bums or the fact that your record just got reset or you can't get double rep or the fact that, I mean, shit, bro, there's so many bugs on this game and it's it's unbelievable. So that that's one thing. That's my little rant as far as some of the problems with the game. Like I said, though, these things could be fixed and the game could be, like, so good, bro. It has so much potential. The only problem is whenever they drop a patch, something else gets messed up. And that just keeps us getting patches back to back to back. So at a certain point, we just got to sit there and say, just leave this game like this, bro. Just, I don't even care if it's broken, if it's got some problems. We just got to deal with some of the problems and stop asking for patches because every patch we ask for affects us negatively the same way it affects us positively. It, it might give us some good things, but it's going to take some things. It's going to mess some things up. So 2K is at a real delicate state. I mean, the wreck is tough out here. I'm getting my shit sold every single day, but I mean, that's just how it is. Other than that, let's talk about, you know, the bright stuff, the bright stuff, the future of the channel, second channel, third channel, quadruple channel, whatever. So the plan for me is this, man. 
I'm going to keep posting 2K and giving y'all the content y'all love. If you have any video requests at all, it does not matter what it is. If it's a dribble tutorial, passing, gameplay, this, this, that. It don't matter if it's very specific or not specific at all. If you have any video requests, leave them in the comments. So I'm going to keep uploading 2K consistent, streaming. I'm going to try to start streaming every single weekend and stay consistent during the week with uploads. I'm going to work my hardest to give y'all some great 2K content as long as I can. With that being said, I'm going to be grinding 2K25 until GTA 6 comes out. That's if GTA 6 comes out before 2K26, okay? So if 2K26 comes out before GTA 6, then we'll be playing 2K26 until GTA 6. But the goal is grind 2k whatever 2k it is upload consistent stay the haunt that y'all know until gta 6 comes out then i'm gonna grind gta 6 the same way i grind 2k maybe even harder gta 6 is gonna be one of the biggest games of all time 10 plus years in the making grand theft auto is the one game that every single game they have ever released has been big bro they have not released a game that has just sunk and did terrible numbers and that people hate it. At least to my knowledge, you know what I'm saying? It's not one of those games where they drop it every year. No, GTA is going to have hype. It's going to be big, so I'm definitely going to need to post it, and I'm going to go crazy on it. From there, we're going to take GTA as far as we can, see what happens with 2K, and just see what happens after GTA. From there... The main channel is kind of in a transitional period. You know, I could either go to 2K27 slash 26 and keep playing 2K after GTA. Or I could stick to GTA and maybe post GTA and 2K. You know, it's something that we'll see after GTA drops and after we see how it's doing on the channel. Now, with that being said, there's also another channel that I'm working on. Now, this is going to be kind of like my secret channel. It's not really a secret, it's just, it's not gaming content. It's not content that is Fortnite, 2K, Black Ops, Grand Theft Auto. It's nothing like that at all. So when it comes to me posting on that channel, you won't see me just sitting here promoting it on this channel. Because I know you guys aren't going to sit here and just, you know, go and watch all that type of stuff. And I'm not going to expect you guys to go and watch a completely different type of content. So, with that being said, while I'm grinding this channel, I will also be grinding another channel in secret. I mean, here and there, I will pin a comment, maybe, with the link to a video on the second channel or on the third channel. If you guys are interested in watching some videos over there, it is not the second channel where I posted other games. Because I do have another channel where I post like X Define and Fortnite and stuff like that. It is not that channel. It's going to be completely non-2K, non-gaming related. So if you guys are interested in that and you want the you know link to subscribe to that channel, just comment on this video and I'll reply with the link for the people who want to check it out. Time to time, I might promote it or I might show you guys the channel just for the people who may be interested. But that's another thing that'll be going to. I'll be dropping another channel. And the other channel is really going to focus on a whole bunch of different type of content. I haven't really decided exactly what yet. I know for sure that there is going to be wrestling content on there. I'm a big wrestling fan. You know, I don't know if you guys know that or not. But, you know, I'm a huge wrestling fan. So, you know, I was going to post, like, all types of different wrestling content as far as, like, funny moments you know, crime documentaries like, you know, wrestlers who committed crazy crimes and stuff like that. I was also possibly going to expand into other type of documentary content that fits around those same lines. So like I just said a minute ago, wrestlers who committed crazy crimes, I might do, you know, a spinoff of that series, you know, like I might just turn that into a series where I do, you know, football players who committed like the most gruesome crimes yada yada so it's going to be kind of like a documentary type page slash like lore page in a way you know it's just going to be an interesting channel that you can leave on for background noise and i haven't really decided which you know area i want to go as far as like if i'm going to do it all around you know 
wrestlers that committed crazy crimes, football players that committed crazy crimes, and do like lore videos on all types of different sports and like actors and like shit like that. Or if I'm just going to keep it strictly wrestling, I haven't decided yet. I guess it really just depends on how that channel does. But that's something, you know, that it's on the way, you know, it's a work in progress. It's something that I'm working on. I'm just trying to keep myself busy, bro. I've been doing a lot of stuff. Another thing that, you know, since this is just a long gameplay video, I'm just giving y'all some information about me, man. I'm just telling y'all what's going on, what's the plans. Y'all know the plan for the main channel. Y'all know what's going up with the secret channel. Y'all know how I feel about the current state of the game and what needs to be fixed, if anything. Because honestly, like I said, bro, these patches, they mess more up than they fix almost. But another thing that I'm going to go ahead and say real quick, if I can even remember, is... Um, oh, yeah. Another thing I've been doing a lot is I've been uh, painting and just doing a whole bunch of stuff. I've been doing tattoos for a while. It's been over a year I've been doing tattoos. Some of you guys might remember that. But I'm a big art guy, so I've also been doing paintings. I brought a couple paintings to some celebrities. And that's something that you guys might also see on that new channel as well. You guys might see, because I did meet Jeff Hardy, gave Jeff Hardy a painting. I'm going to meet Art the Clown in like two days. I'm going to give him a huge painting and, you know, meet him and shit like that. So I've been working on giving like really big, nice canvases of art to you know different celebrities and i might end up piling them all together for a video sometime or some sort of something like that and just show y'all all the art i've been doing and my progress on it it's something that's a work in progress but it's also something that i've been doing you know i've been doing a lot of stuff as far as tattoos paintings art working on a secret channel working on this channel i also do other work in real life you know i got a wife my wife works i got a dog so I got a pretty busy life, but I'm doing my best to stay consistent for y'all. Y'all see the video tab, man. I'm one of the most consistent content creators out there, and that is not going to anywhere. And yeah, man, like, it's crazy because I haven't, this is like a 25-minute video, and I don't think I've ever actually just sat here and talked to y'all for 25 minutes without it being like some sort of tips some sort of information or something like that you feel me so it is hella crazy having to think of topics to talk about um i did tell y'all in the beginning this would just be a yap session though so for the ones who have made it this far i really do appreciate y'all um another thing i do want to say real quick since we are getting towards the end of this video is i really do appreciate y'all man like, I have a real busy life, a real crazy life. Stuff gets hectic, just like for everybody, man. If you're not grown right now, when you do get grown, you know, you will understand life is tough with bills and all types of responsibilities. But one thing that always keeps me going is every single one of y'all. It, it might sound corny, but, you know, the comments of support, the people who have stayed here and show up every video is Nodi Gang, the people that i've known have been here for years or the people who are just new and i can see they're new and showing crazy support it means a lot to me bro because honestly one thing about youtube is it has its highs and lows it has the time there's times where you're pulling 10k 20k views getting 100k views and then there's times where you're not getting 1k views you know there's times where people are clowning on you for having a high sub count with low view count and then there's the times where you're eating and everybody wants to be your friend and, you know, having y'all through the, the highs, the lows and everything, it gets it gets me through a lot. And it's one of the main reasons why I've been able to stay consistent and stay the creator I am is because I do everything for y'all, not for me. If I was doing it for me, I would have been quit on this because honestly, there's been plenty of times where I felt like giving up. But I kept going for y'all and I kept going because this is like a family. You know what I'm saying? This is my youtube channel i know if i don't upload for a couple weeks there'll be somebody who comments somebody who notices i'm gone and that is what keeps me going because i feel like i gotta you know y'all got me here y'all got me so far to where i can actually make content and get views on it so the least i could do is make y'all proud with staying consistent and posting and giving y'all the best possible content i can with that being said, man, that's my opinion on the game. Wreck needs to be fixed, all types of shit. 
um y'all know a little bit more about my personal life and stuff i got going on just leave any video requests y'all got in the comments and i'll try my best to make it to it wasn't the best gameplay like i said earlier you know i've been a little rusty i haven't played the game as much and on top of that i did feel the nerf to rhythm shooting so i'm working on getting back in my bag but i will be soon and yeah i'm gonna continue to drop these gameplays for y'all until the next time your boy hunt is out thank you so much for watching